Now we're going to look at a situation where there's exponential decay. So suppose you have a bowl of M&Ms or 500 M&Ms and each day you ate a quarter of the candies that you had. Is the number of candies left changing linear, linearly or exponential, exponentially? Okay, so first, remember linear, you're dropping at a constant rate. This is saying that we're dropping by so much every single day. So this is exponential. All right. So we want an equation. So let's let's use t. So you can see some different variables. So p of t. All right. We're gonna start out with five hundred m and m's. All right. R in this case, we we're, we're losing a quarter. So one quarter, we want to change that to a decimal. So that's 0.25. So now we do not have growth here. We're eating these M&Ms. We're consuming them. So we can't add. We have to subtract 0.25. So I, I guess you would call it not our growth multiplier, but our decay factor would be 0.75. So Going back to our equation, P of T will equal 500 times 0.75 raised to a power of T. Now notice what happens, just, just look at it. You start out with 500. This 0.75 makes sense because every day you're going to be left, you're going to be down a quarter of what you had the day before. Okay. So, so now we've got our model. We're going to say where T, and it says N, but we're going to use T is days. Okay, so how many candies would we have left after one week? So that's seven days. So you would do 500 times 0.75 raised to a power of seven. So what we end up with is after one week, we'll be left with 66.74 M&Ms, but we're going to round this, okay? So we're going to say approximately 67 M&Ms after 10 days. You still do 500.75 after 10 days. Okay, we're going to go decimal, which is 28.16, but we're going to round and say approximately 28 M&Ms. After two weeks, that's 14 days. approximately nine M&Ms left in the bowl. And then after three weeks or 21 days, we have approximately, well, we have exactly 1.19, we're gonna say approximately one M and M, okay. So now we're gonna draw a sketch, and I've already I've used used Microsoft Excel. Notice your initial value is five hundred. You've got the K, right? It's not smooth, but is it it matches what the K we what we would expect exponential decay to look like. Okay, based on your data, when can you expect all the M&Ms, candies to be eaten? So let's go back. Now, at after 21 days, right, 
we were down to one, okay? So we would say approximately, uh, now you can, you can take your model and you can kind of play with it. And you can say, well, is it, is it 21 or 22 days? Or somewhere it's 22, 23 days, right? So I would say, okay, let's try 22. Let's say that's our guess, 22 days. We would have 0.89, right? It's approximately one. So it's approximately one. So what about 23? Well, is that is that a better is that a better guess? Okay. So we will be at approximately point six seven. All right. So notice at a certain point you gonna you can't round. So we're gonna say somewhere at if we can't eat partial M&M's, if you've ever seen an M&M, it's very small. So we're going to say approximately 22 days. After that 22nd day, all of the M&M's should be eaten. And so that's just a quick demonstration of exponential decay. I hope this helps.